Welcome back to Detroit Sports Plus. We've covered the bad part of the Dallas game, which is, of course, the cloud hanging over this team with Aiden Hutchinson missing some valuable time this year with his uh, broken leg, unfortunately. Just terrible situation in Dallas, but also a lot of good to take away from that game, too. Starting off with that offense and the defense, too, for the Lions, what was your biggest takeaway from what you saw in that 47-9 to win for the Lions? Uh, my biggest takeaway was, can we re-poll the NFL players who were polled during the offseason and ranked Dak Prescott as the 16th best player in the league? <laughs> we said at the time that we thought that was outrageous, <laughs> and I'm so happy that it played out that way in this game. I mean, the only pass he completed in the end zone was to Brian Branch, so congrats to Dak Prescott. I, Jared Goff showed out once again. I mean, this is two games in a row where he's been awesome. 315 yards, three touchdowns, and Dak Prescott just, he looked lost, and I, I was enjoying watching the Cowboys fans panic on social media about how they signed this guy to a long-term deal, so it it's just funny how much can change in a couple weeks, because we were talking about Jared Goff was so rusty, and mm -hmm. the offense didn't look good. You know, he builds a little camaraderie with Tim Patrick, and you know, uh, both running backs get going, and now it looks like the Lions offense is as good as ever. I mean, they looked like a Super Bowl contender yesterday. I mean, that, that was the most perfect game I've seen the Lions play in a really long time. Um, I mean, it was just perfect. I remember when uh, Tom Brady got Randy Moss and they went 16-0. and But during that season, I believe they were 5-0 and and they went to Dallas and they blew Dallas out. And I, before this game, I just wanted the Lions to make me feel like that. Like they're this unstoppable train that can go into a team like Dallas and there's nothing they can do. They're just going to blow mm -hmm. out a good team. Now Dallas isn't that great of a team. We kind of, they were a little sus and we all knew that. No Micah Parsons. Yeah, no Micah no, Parsons. No Demarcus Lawrence. No yeah. Demarcus. Marcus Lawrence. So we knew they were banged up, but I just wanted to feel like the Lions offense is this unstoppable train that is just going to wreak havoc on the rest of the NFL. And they did it. They, they came through for me and they delivered exactly what I wanted to see out of that game yesterday. It just sucks about the Aiden Hutchinson injury, uh, injury. but, but there was so much to be, I mean, that, that was one of the most fun games I've seen the Lions play in a long time. I mean, you're, you're throwing passes to, you're just trying to get Taylor Decker a touchdown in the end, uh, end zone just for fun, just to stick it to the Dallas Cowboys. And then uh, Sewell almost with a touchdown. That would have been great. <laughs> um, just all their trick plays. It's just awesome seeing the team win big and just have so much fun. You, you know, seeing Dan Campbell shake Aaron Glenn on the sideline. Yeah. I, you just love it. Nine drives with Jared Goff, five touchdowns, four field goals, no turnovers, no punts. I mean, yep. it was just surgical and <laughs> Jake Bates. You know, yeah, uh, look, four. look, there's your MVP right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will say playing without Micah Parsons and without Demarcus Lawrence. Oh, by the way, playing without Deron Bland. I mean, if they didn't do that, I would have been surprised. You, I, I'll, I'll say I'll, I'll put it to you that way, because also Seattle was playing without a lot of players on defense, too. That's going to change in Minnesota. Yeah. And now they're going to be facing a Vikings defense that blitzes more than any other team in the NFL. I think if the Lions would have played with their food a little bit this weekend, I'd be more worried about the like lack of a great win on the resume. Thing. Sure. But I, just the way that they won. And the way that they exerted their will on the Cowboys, it was it was clear that we were lo watching a team that could win a Super Bowl. I mean, yeah. um, sure, Minnesota is going to be by far the most difficult challenge that they face so far, and perhaps all season. I mean, this is a, this is one of the last two remaining undefeated teams in the league. But I don't think any of us are going into this game doubting that the Lions can win it. Right. Yeah. I, I just want to see the offense continue to do its thing because then I'm not even worried about the, the loss on the defense with Aiden Hutchinson. This defense can dictate the entire game when you can run the ball and control the, uh, the time of possession like they did. I was most impressed with Brian Branch, though. Oh. The way he plays the game is just like, like, like Dan Campbell said after the game, that is a football player. I, I might have been more impressed by the Lions' defense than their offense in that game because the defense put them in such great positions in, in that game against Dallas. And then Brian Branch, two picks. You mentioned the one in the end zone, and then he had the other one in the middle of the field that drove him, what, inside the 15-yard the line? Four yard line, yeah, four-yard line, yep. And then Amon Ross St. Brown has his touchdown. He, he showed just how much he can change a game. Oh, by the way, Terrion Arnold and that pass breakup he had on fourth down. Terrion was right with him whenever Brian Branch forced that fumble. If that secondary can play like that for the rest of the year, 
oh my goodness, watch out. I, w- I was more impressed by Brian Branch than they, anyone They look like a better game. strength than the defensive line. It, it, it looks, does. It looks yeah. like the, the secondary has now become our strength on defense. And Jack Campbell, I thought, played an excellent game yesterday in the run. I mean, they couldn't do – I mean, they don't have any running backs no. as it goes. But Jack Campbell, I thought, played a really nice game yesterday. And, and especially at the beginning of the game because Dak Prescott – was force feeding CD Lamb and CD Lamb was was tearing up that line secondary. The way they locked down from like the first two drives on just yeah, beautiful. And hopefully Carlton Davis is okay because yeah. he has yeah. been an absolute rock for a young unit. Mm-hmm. Um, it's interesting that you say that this is the strength. I think it it's born out of depth. I mean, the Lions yeah. just have so many defensive backs who are are above average players, right? You've got Brian Branch, who might be a superstar, uh, but then other than that, you know, Kirby Joseph and Carlton Davis and Amik Roberts. And you, there's just a lot of guys that you have faith in, and um, they're going to be asked to do more, but, I mean, it seems like they're up to the task. So I feel good about that group. They're obviously going to have a huge test this weekend. But you know what? C.D. Lamb also, the last time he played this team, had a career high in receiving yards. 227. Yeah. 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 And, the, yeah. And, and, and for the most part, the Lions defense, aside from those first couple of drives, played well against him. But now they get Justin Jefferson. So the challenge, once again, here we go in back-to-back Happy weeks. birthday, Jerry Jones. God, wasn't it great seeing him up in you, his suite just all depressed on You just birthday. hate to see it. You hate you? to see it. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think is the biggest challenge that the Lions face in Minnesota this week, though? I think it's that defense. Defense in, in a tough environment. Um, you know, like you said, they're going to be blitzing. Uh, you know, I don't think you're going to see as clean of a pocket as we just witnessed over in, in Dallas. I think uh, Goff's going to be under some duress, and you know they're going to have to be uh, they're going to have to be prepared, you know, mm-hmm. to, uh, to handle that blitz because Minnesota's defense has been playing lights out. Uh, I think it's Justin Jefferson. I think he's the best player in the National Football League. He's the closest thing to Calvin Johnson that I've seen since Calvin mm-hmm. Johnson. And uh, uh, he's the kind of guy that you can play perfect coverage on him all day, and he can put up 200 yards on you. So uh, the Lions are going to have to to get to Sam Darnold. They're going to have to capitalize on opportunities to 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 make them make mistakes. And the offense is going to have to score because there, there, there isn't any shutting this guy down. I mean, last year, Justin Jefferson went off both games against the Lions, but they won both games, and really neither of them felt like they were in jeopardy. Sure, that, that is a recipe that they could follow again, but then again, this is a better Minnesota team. Ben Johnson versus Brian Flores. Ooh, that's fun. Oh, man. Oh, that's that a so great matchup. Yeah. It's going to be so fun on Sunday afternoon. We I take shall ben see what, <laughs> We shall see what happens. There we go. But you know what? Ben Johnson's been in his bag the last couple weeks. It's been incredible to Winner see. Winner gets the Jets. Job. How about that? <laughs> That's no. a win? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's loser, a win? Loser has to take the Jets job. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. Changes, yeah. that changes the stakes. I was like, I'm not giving that job. That <laughs> uh, still more, much, much more to come here on Detroit Sports Plus. We'll dive into the Tigers uh, into the season. A great run comes to an end in the final game of the ALDS in Game 5 in Cleveland. But it was a great season. We'll dive into that when we return.